Hi, I'm James Amon, fellow at the Bedeen Center for Rural Economic Development at the University of Minnesota Crookston. Today, I'm gonna to provide an update on grain markets throughout the world. As I present this video, roughly six weeks worth of storage are currently available globally. This is a major concern for both developing and developed economies. Right now in the Ukraine, approximately 20 million tons are trapped based on land bridge inaccessibility and port blockades. At this moment, Russia is negotiating with the African Union based on vulnerability with respect to diet as to how they can move the grain out. There are various geopolitical requests that the Russians are making in order to free those 20 million tons. Simultaneous to that, there are additional pressures across the globe. Recently, the Indian government imposed a ban on exports. That equates to roughly 25 million tons that are currently in storage, further driving up wheat inflation. In addition to that, fertilizer challenges are gonna threaten crop yields throughout the world this year. And dry conditions, especially in the Southern Great Plains, um, as well as flooded areas um, may prevent traditional plantings from occurring and yields may, may also suffer. Um, it's not all bad news, however, even though there are many constraints that are adding to market pressures, there are actually some bright side. For example, the Chinese are anticipating a 2022 bumper crop. Australia is enjoying its third consecutive year of increased production. Brazil is offered to fill some of the voids with some of its grain storage capacity. And as I mentioned earlier, the African Union appears to be making some progress with the Russian government to free grain from the Ukraine. We'll see some demand destruction as a, as a result of inflation uh, for, for processed products and or value added pro uh, products. And so as a result, we may see some free or some slack uh, created in the marketplace. And the Ukrainian spring, planting cycle seems to seems to be pretty on track, even though there's um, geopolitical instability in the region. So even though African economies as well as Asian economies are highly dependent on either Russian or Ukrainian exports, there seem to be some positive movements in place uh, to ensure grain markets achieve um, hopefully their full capacity this year. Thank you for joining me for video number 32, and we look forward to speaking with you next time.